So we have a crazy situation happening on board. It's something that I don't think is something we should ever uh, have happen on board. We got back from Coco Cay onto the ship. Now our shower yesterday, there was no hot water. It was just kind of like lukewarm. It was like, oh, what's going on here? It is what it is. We took cold showers. Today, we got back on board. No water, or the water was coming down very slowly until it just stopped completely. Take a look. So let me show you guys. This is the uh, on position. This is going one way. Going that way, nothing. Try changing temperatures. This tiny little thing, but it runs out in two seconds. That still doesn't work. You wanna wash your hands? Yeah, why not? Here you go. And now for the kicker. You use a toilet, there's no water in there, and it sounds like an airplane, listen. So, you know, my wife and I, we have dinner reservations in a half an hour, which is literally half an hour now. And um, I'm trying to call maintenance, no one's answering. Trying to call guest services, no one's answering. So I'm realizing the only way you're ever gonna get help is if you go downstairs and you speak to someone at the front desk. Which, I mean, honestly, I don't care. It's a half an hour, I'll go do that. I can't take a shower anyway. You know, the only thing I'd be doing is just changing my clothes because there's no water. And I got downstairs and we're just thinking that it's our own cabin because halfway through I saw our cabin guy and I asked him, what's going on? He goes, oh, the water should be working. I don't know what it is, maybe it's down. So we went downstairs and uh, as I'm waiting in line, the line's getting bigger, bigger, and bigger. And I turned the person behind me, I'm like, are you guys here for the water too? And I guess everyone in line heard that. And <laughs> I wound up being the point person here where I was saying to everyone, all right, everyone, give me your floors. We need to figure out what's going on here. I start calling out, who's on one, who's in three, who's in four? It turns out it's the entire starboard side of the ship. The entire side has no running water. Obviously that's concerning because, you know, we just left port and I'm like, well, we had running water there. What, what was going on? After waiting for roughly about, hmm, I'm gonna say 30 minutes, I finally got at the front of the line and I goes, how can I help you? And I'm like, I can actually speak for everyone behind us, behind me, uh, no one has running water. They had no idea what I was talking about. So then everyone got around me like, yeah, he's right. I'm on 11, I'm on 12, I'm on eight, I'm on seven, I'm on six, I'm on three. No one has running water, what's going on? The main desk had no idea what's going on and they're trying to call maintenance, but maintenance is not answering their phones. And finally, after waiting another half an hour, he comes back and he goes, well, I've got some interesting news. What is it? So the water, the fresh water pipe, busted and started flooding, started flooding the second level. So deck two is flooding with water, huh? And he goes, yeah. So in order to not cause the entire floor to flood, they had to shut off all the water on the starboard side of the ship, which is, you know, a couple thousand people, right? Because this holds a couple thousand people and it's half of the ship. <laughs> but he did look at me and say, well, wouldn't you rather we shut off the water than the ship start taking on water? Which you have to laugh and go, yeah, I, I would prefer that. All that being said, they have no idea when the water's gonna come back on. And so I'm gonna go salty to dinner. I don't mind, I really don't. It's just, it's a weird situation when he said, yeah, we don't want <laughs> the second floor to flood. I told my wife that she's like, what? I guess it happens. It is what it is. This is a new ship. How does that happen? They're giving us water here at the, at the, uh, where the, where the uh, solarium. And um, this is precious water because we found out it's the entire ship with no running water. No toilets, no showers, no hand sinks, nothing. Nothing's running. No water. And now bathrooms are being closed, quote unquote, for maintenance. But if you walk in, there's still no running water. So just an update. It's about 620 and things got out of control. We just went to dinner. You can't wash your hands in any sinks. All the bathrooms have temporary closed signs on them. And um, of course the water's not on. So it's the entire ship right now. No water. People are starting to freak out a little bit. Um, and it's funny because the cabin made an announcement from when I left Coco Cay saying that uh, you've been a little bit faster tonight to get to our next destination. Although today is a sea day. But we're all like wondering, it's he's only going faster to get closer to a port? Mm -hmm, who knows? Let me share you the secret spot to watch the sunsets or sunrises from the back of the running tracks. You only notice if you're up early to go for a run. Look at this view, right? 
Looks like we have uh, three screws pumping out a lot of power. We're currently traveling at 17.7 knots. The sunset's actually in front of us, but because of clouds, it's actually not really a sunset. But I love this sound. So it's 7.20 at night and still no water. So that means hour four without water. It's like it's on and off. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. It's kind of very spotty. Um, this actually walked past the first officer who said that they're still working on it. No, they're still working on it. There's a piano player inside LA. We got some good news the water finally works roughly about nine o'clock and um just came back to the room the sinks we got cooler and hot water the showers work now I'm gonna get wet showing you but hot and cold and the toilets finally flush I don't think I think you know what toilets do. Talking to a few different people that have been dealing with the issues, there are people who stayed on the boat at Coco Cay, and they said that it went out probably around 2.33 o'clock. So imagine how many hours this ship didn't have any running water. That's why so many people were freaking out, because you couldn't take showers. Everyone was getting off of the island at the same or getting onto the ship from off the island at the same time, and no one could shower. There was no running water, you couldn't wash your hands. So people are like, oh, is this the whole carnival? I forget which ship that was. Um, and long story short, it's fixed. That's all that matters. Now we can finally move forward. I don't know what they did on the second floor. We did speak to a lady who was near where that pipe was. And security actually went downstairs and told them we have to evacuate you out of your room. And they brought them to another part of the ship. So there definitely was a decent amount of water. Who knows how much though? But I, I do have to say that's enough adventure for uh for one day <laughs> it was kind of crazy but thank you for joining me if you haven't done so yet please subscribe turn on notifications and give this video a thumbs up i'm exhausted we did a lot of swimming today and i just kind of want to go to sleep but i'm happy that i can finally shower and we have a ton of videos from wonder in the seas so make sure you go ahead and check out our playlist because there's going to be a ton of videos uploaded in the next few days <laughs>